Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I've got a really exciting story to share with you guys because this one is really, really close to my heart as it has to relate with my own son having a very severe eczema and or allergies that he was miraculously healed from by Jesus Christ. So I'm just gonna be sharing with you what happened, a little bit into the journey of what took place, and I'm sharing this just as a small thank you to our God who completely and supernaturally healed my son. I first just want to start by saying thank you so much to our Lord, to Jesus Christ for healing our boy. This was a journey of actually over 12 months of Jaden having severe eczema or allergies. We're still not even completely sure what it was. All we know is that it was really, really bad. And it was for actually just over a year that this was all taking place. And for the entire time, all we knew was that we wanted for it to be gone. So thank you, Lord, for the works that you do. Thank you for how good you are. And thank you for all the things that you blessed us with, all the things you provided us with. And thank you for miracles like this, where you supernaturally and radically heal people and set people free. So to start things off from the very beginning, when Jaden was a little bit younger, maybe around four to six months, we started noticing some little spots on his body, sometimes on the elbow or the back. They were never that severe, so we didn't think too much of it. We just kind of figured they would go away as he got older. They would come and go. Sometimes they'd be worse, sometimes they'd be better, but they never really went away. He never really had clear skin from about six months old onwards, obviously up until now. And we noticed things take a turn for the worst completely after he was off nursing and he began having only food. It was almost immediately after that, his entire body broke out in this awful, red, swollen, bloody, blotchy rash. As you guys can see from some of the pictures in this video, this is what we were looking at. This is what we were dealing with. It was horrible to watch and horrible to see what was going on and we had no idea what it was or how to fix it. Despite that situation, what we did know, what we still know and what we held on to through that time was the fact that God does still heal today and not only that, but he wants to heal and his will is to heal. And I honestly believe it's really, really easy to see the evidence of that because of how Jesus lived his life. Jesus is the best example and best role model that we have as Christians. And if we are to look to anyone as an example of how to live, it should be him. So I'm just gonna read some of his words. And these were even some of the scriptures that we held on to during this time. And then we'll continue with the video. In John 14, Jesus says, "'Most assuredly I say to you, "'He who believes in me, the works that I do, "'he will do also, and greater works than these he will do, "'because I go to my Father. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. In Matthew 10, when Jesus is sending out his disciples, he says, And as you go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, and cast out demons. Freely you have received, freely give. And of course, there's the Great Commission in Mark 16. And these signs will follow those who believe in my name. They will cast out demons, they will speak with new tongues, they will take up serpents, and if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay their hands on the sick, and they will recover. And there are many more scriptures that we could go over in terms of healing, but it's pretty simple to me that God wants us to be walking in health, and I really think the reason he wants us to be walking in health is to carry out the purposes that he has called us to fulfill. If we're not healthy, it's going to be really difficult to do that. Now comes the interesting part, which I'm sure you guys are wondering. Why did it take 12 months for Jaden to be healed? Why didn't he get healed like that? That's what we were asking too. So I should say we did go to doctors and naturopaths and homeopaths and whatever other kinds of paths to try and figure this out. But one of my best friends shared with me that if you're going to be spending an hour in the waiting room at a doctor's office, it's far better to be sending an hour in prayer and on our knees first before we go do that. And so that was the way that we approached things. We were continually praying, spending time in the word, fasting for answers and trying to figure out what was going on and how this was getting in. And if there was anything in our lives that we needed to change in order for Jaden to get better. We just had so much compassion for him and it was a really, really trying time in our lives. He wasn't getting any sleep at all. He was constantly scratching. We had to buy him a ton of onesie PJs and that's all he was wearing throughout the entire day no matter where we went if we were in public or at home 
just because if there was any exposed skin on his body, he would be scratching that and he just wasn't able to stop. I think we ended up going to a total of 11 doctors slash naturopaths slash homeopaths just to get some kind of answers as to what could be done. And honestly, we didn't come out with any real significant answers. The doctors would always try hydrocortisone cream, the naturopaths and the homeopaths would always go straight to dietary things. And I'm not gonna lie and say they didn't help at all. There were small things here and there that we were able to improve. We thank God for that. But it really didn't solve the problem. The, the hydrocortisone cream would kind of settle things down for two to five days. And when I say settle down, I don't mean it went away. I just mean it wasn't as swollen for about a week or so or less than that. And then it would just go right back up to where it was, sometimes worse than what it was before. The naturopaths and the homeopaths would try to figure out if there was something to do with his diet, something he was allergic to or sensitive to. And we did find out that, you know, there were a couple things that would help to settle down the flare-ups if we removed those from his diet. But we also tried the other extreme where we took almost everything away from his diet. Dairy, gluten, soy, corn. He was basically on a diet of rice, oats, and water. And it was really hard to watch because these are the times in kids' lives when they're able to try new things and they're able to experiment with new foods and figure out what they like and what they don't like. He wasn't able to go through any of that because we were trying to figure out if there was something in his diet that was causing this to happen. So after all this time, we really didn't see any improvement with any doctor or naturopath that we ended up going to. So we would just continue to pray. We continue to ask God, you know, what is it? Because we know from the bottom of our hearts that it is his will to heal. And we know also from the bottom of our hearts that God did not cause this to happen to Jaden. It wasn't God punishing us for some unknown reason. The rash that Jaden had was the work of the devil, 100%. I know that the devil comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. And I know that my God comes to give life and life abundantly. And so basically what we continued to do was just continue to figure out if there was anything that we could do, any doors that we needed to close in our lives where this was able to get in. So we were fasting about this, we were praying about this, and all the while we were knowing that God wanted to heal Jaden more than we did, but there was very likely something in our lives that needed to change, and we were just trying to figure out what that was. And so there were a few things along the way that we found out that he actually is sensitive to in terms of dietary stuff. A couple things we've removed from his diet that really helped to calm things down at this time and really helped to keep his skin clear, but those made small changes compared to the massive change that we had to make in our lives for this to be truly gone. So as we continued to pray and seek God on this and figure out what was up, we eventually realized that there was actually unforgiveness in both my life and my wife's life that we had to deal with and we had to work through. And that was the reason that was holding back the healing from taking place. So thank God for revealing that to us and helping us to figure that out because here comes the coolest part, which was we found this out on a Saturday evening. We asked for forgiveness. We dealt with the issue. And by Monday morning, Jaden was completely healed. He went from having red and itchy, irritated, rough skin almost all over his body to having smooth and clear and what looked like brand new skin all over his entire body in a day and a half. And I don't care what kinds of medication are out there. They might be able to make the rash subside and make it slowly go away, but there's no product out there that can heal that in a day and a half. And I mean, what do I have to lose by sharing this to you? I honestly don't care if you believe it or not. I'm sharing what happened in our lives and I'm giving glory to God for what he did for our son. And I have a hard time even expressing how thankful I am, how thankful we both are for this incredible miracle that has taken place and for the fact that Jaden is now able to wear t-shirts and shorts. He's able to play around. He gets way better night's rests now and we're able to put him in normal clothes and he's able to eat normal food. We are so incredibly thankful for the work that God has done in our lives and for the healing that has taken place for Jaden. It's been an incredible thing to see and we're also very thankful for God having revealed what needed to be fixed in our lives so that we could change those things and for healing to have come to our boy as well. So we are so, so thankful for that. I should also mention this all took place a few months ago and even to this day, Jaden is still clear. He's got great skin. There are a couple little spots that come every now and then, but those are more so related to the dietary things. But even still today, we still have him eating proper food. We have him wearing normal clothes. He's a happy, healthy, amazing little boy 
who actually sleeps very, very well now. So we are so thankful for what God has done. And I really do hope that this has encouraged you today because it certainly has encouraged us. As I said, I know that it is God's will to heal. And if you want to check out another testimony that happened within our family, my wife was miraculously healed from seizures and even a little bit of brain damage after that first seizure and being labeled by the doctors as epileptic to being completely healed from that and having a proven medical report that she is completely better. And you can check that link out in the description. I'll make sure to leave it for you. But I really hope that this has encouraged you guys today. Make sure to continue thanking God for what he has done in your lives because I honestly don't believe that we should ever be blaming him for anything negative that happens in our lives while we're here. Because at the end of the day, God is good and he cares for you and he loves you and he is the first to lend a hand to help you out of any situation. So take care everyone. God bless and we'll see you next time.